Okay, here I am again with uh, one more step completed in those uh, those guitars, and this time around it was the the neck joint right here. As you can see, uh, for the neck is still pretty bulky and uh, quite uh, unfinished. Actually, it's uh, it's just the neck blank itself. It's not shaped anyway or anything yet, but it is attached to the body, uh, and this neck joint is cut uh, to the according to the plan. So. I'm pretty happy about how it turned out. As you can see, it's beginning to look like an actual guitar. And uh, I did spend some time cutting those uh, those neck joints uh, using the painter router like right here, like I said I would do. Uh, of course, the painter router is not designed to specifically cut guitar necks, but this is a machine uh, which is specifically designed to cut some uh, mortise and tenons that you put up here. Check out my other video where I talk about this machine. I'm pretty sure most people don't use a pentel router to cut uh, the, the neck joint, but it did uh, a very good job. But uh, I had to do a lot of trial and errors before I cutting the, the real joints. And I did use for that uh, some construction lumber that I, uh, I put together into a blank that looked like the real necks. And it allowed me to, to make uh, many, many cuts for adjustment because you have to cut this neck joint uh, in a really particular way because uh, you need to compensate for this uh, this body top here. This one in particular was not exactly flat. This one was a, a, a lot more flat, but uh, this one had a slight uh, tilt like that. And uh, in addition to that, you have to take care of the, uh, the neck joint itself. The neck needs to be tilted a little bit like that. Uh, actually, I needed to have about uh, one eighth of an inch at the position right here where the neck will go. I, I did put in a little mark. So the neck needs to be tilted like that because if, if it wouldn't be, uh, the strings later on would be attached and it would be uh, a lot more gap here. Uh, the actual action of the, of the string would be a lot, uh, uh, a lot more here than it is not there because uh, the neck uh, the fretboard will go over there, there will be the nut here, and there will be the bridge here, and uh, this whole angle, needs to be, uh, the, the neck needs to be a little tilted for it to work. So, and also the neck needs to be straight uh, in regard to the guitar body. If you like, put it quickly not right there, you can see right now it's pretty straight, but this, uh, this joint has a lot to do uh, for, for, for it to be uh, on the actual right angle. It needs to be right like that, it needs to be right like that. Uh, needs to be more or less gap free around here. Of course, I will do a little more fine tuning when the, when the, the neck is, is shaped, but uh, I wanted it to be as close to, uh, to perfect right now uh, because uh, the, the, more it, the, the better it is right now, the, the, the easier it will be later on to uh, to continue the adjustment. So uh, here are my guitar necks uh, attached. This one is a, I did not, I did attach it earlier, but I just removed it to show you. Uh, you just slide it into the mortise here, and there are those two bolts that go uh, through the body and that you, you bolt into the, the joint itself. So using those little uh, nut, barrel nuts, I don't know what it's called in there. Uh, so, again, pretty happy about how it turned out. Uh, it was, uh, of course, as scary and difficult as I thought it would, it would be. Uh, I've been uh, uh, thinking about this particular step for, for, for a long while, and I was, uh, I was debating in my head about using the pentel router or going the more uh, traditional way using this, uh, this, uh, the, the, same, the same jig that most people tend to use to cut this, but the Panther router, router did a really good job. Uh, pretty happy about how it turned out. I will now uh, move into uh, carving and shaping the neck and uh, later on uh, do the final adjustments on this, on, on this uh, neck joint. But uh, again, pretty happy about how it turned out. I think uh, I will be able to continue from there and uh, I'll see you in the next one.